Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. My name is Trevor. We have Audie over here, and today he's going to help us replace the radiator in our 1997 Chevy Corvette. Now, this should work for any C5 Corvette, which is years 97 to 2004. So, I hope that this helps you guys out. Let's roll that intro and dive right on in. So start off, we're gonna unplug these. So see there's a little clip. So you just pull that off. And that one's gonna have a clip on the back side. Feet the front of the car, yep. Should be able to feel that and pull it up. It is kind of difficult. There we go. And now that wire is set out of the way. Next is we're gonna need to loosen these, which mine are already loose because we've already had this off. So I didn't tighten them on all the way. And then we'll just wiggle our air box out, pull it completely free, and now we can set this aside just inside the back of the car. Now we're on to our next steps where we need to get a socket, an extension, and a wrench, socket wrench. So let's look. I believe these are 10 millimeters. And there are four of them. They are 10 millimeter, and there should be four of them. One here, one there where I am missing one, and then one right there, and one right there. So Adi's on there, and he's going to loosen that guy up. Oh, hold on. There, now try. And you should be able to get these to a point where it becomes loose enough that you can just spin it by hand. So now we're going to do that same thing on the passenger side. you guys a good view on that one and that other one is just right there but now with those four bolts out of the way or three in our case you can just lift that up with ease revealing the radiator time to dive in all right so the next thing we're gonna do is pull up on the air conditioning cooler radiator there because we are going to leave that in place. So I just pulled up right here, and then we'll pull up on, don't pull up on the fins, but see that little tab? This? Nope, over, yep, right there. Just give that a little pull. Try and pull it up. I can't. Might be able to get your hand under there. And all that's gonna do is free it from the radiator. Then we're gonna work on pulling off hoses and draining the radiator all at the same time. All right, now that we got that loose, we got a little bucket down underneath the car that's gonna catch the fluid. You guys might be able to see it, maybe not. But we're gonna start by pulling off this, if I can get a grip on it. <laughs> I love when they put them right next to each other like that. Let me try this with two hands. Usually, you can wiggle these off of here, and then pull the hose off. This one has probably been on there since 1997. second one off and out of the way just like that that's out of the way now 
and then maybe I can get this one, and then we can pull both these hoses off. Let's try that again. So now with this guy out of the way, we're just going to tuck him out of the way and then wiggle this one off, which when I say wiggle, this is what I mean. I just grab a hold of it, kind of give it a twist and twist and pull and then she gives away eventually. Well, like I said, something will give away. So that completely broke off in our hose. We'll get a pick and we'll dig that guy out and then make sure it's clean before we put it back on. But now, we're getting down to some other lines, which these, I believe, should be the transmission lines. Uh, what? So it may have some transmission is lines. It good so for this transmission line, it is a 5.8. Go the other way, that way, and then take it off, and then put it back on there. Yeah, there you go. Now that transmission line out of the way, I went ahead and popped this little clip off of the wiring and then we can get some more, reach down here and get this hose, sorry, this hose off on the bottom. That's where a lot of our fluid's going to drain down into our bucket down there. So under the car, it's kind of hard to see, but right there is the plug right where my finger's at and I just pulled it out and then it started draining out of here into our little jug so we're just going to let that finish draining and then we'll finish pulling off that transmission line and that radiator hose up there which I wasn't able to get from up above so we went ahead and jacked the car up and put it on stands all right, so under the car, we have that transmission line, and it should be a 5 8 as well. Actually, yeah, it is. And then we'll go ahead and we'll break that free. But I'm gonna wait because we're gonna lose some transmission fluid. I wanna catch that in a different bucket. All right, now everything is loose and the radiator should be completely drained. Whew, I hope anyways, we're gonna lift this guy straight out because we have the AC condenser coil is free. Now we should be able to just pull this up and then we'll have to disconnect the fans. That should be it. Okay, here we go. Now the radiator should come out. We could leave the fan behind. But to be honest, I wanted the whole thing to come out. Not just the fan, not just the radiator, but the whole shebang. All right, now we got the new radiator and fan assembly, and we are going to plug this guy in. And I stabbed my finger. And Riley stabbed his finger. But I did. Okay. 
go. Get your water bottle right in. Now I just gotta do everything in reverse order. Look at this handsome man. <coughs> All right, so now to put everything back together um, is just the opposite. We're gonna plug the fans in, connect the radiator hose at the bottom, put that clamp on, and then put some uh, thread, some, oh, I just lost the word, thread locker, but just the tape, thread tape, that's what I mean on our transmission lines, Teflon tape, that's it, thank you dear. On the transmission lines, tighten those back down, connect our two hoses up to the top, and that one over there, and then we set the front condenser back in its slots on the radiator, and then it's time to fill it up and it's good to go. I wanna show you guys our problem on ours, which happens to be kinda of hard to see, but right here's a nice crack, so. That is why we had to change ours out. I hope that this video was helpful. And if it is, or was, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to click this red subscribe button. Head over to the Arctic Vet family channel where you guys can watch more of our family vlogs. We're trying to reach a thousand subscribers there. Help us out by subscribing, telling your friends. We'll catch you in the next video. Have a great night, a wonderful week. I mean, a blessed week and God bless. <laughs> Don't ever give up, God is here with you yeah. You are a child, nothing but love is true Just got it fixed in view, keep your eyes on the prize That's life everlasting, only through Jesus Christ